Like our capital in D.C. has Washington on the Potomac, here we have Washington on the Brazos. It's not the biggest park, but what we preserve and protect here is the site where Texans declared independence from Mexico. This is the birthplace of Texas. The Washington that existed in the 1830s, 40s, and 50s isn't here any longer. In a very short period of time, this town sprang up along the Brazos River that at one time numbered more than a thousand residents. In 1858, the town turned down an offer to bring a railroad here. By around 1900, the town had begun to disappear. The site of three-story brick buildings and saloon halls and blacksmith shops and stores that sold the finest Paris fashions. There were watchmakers and piano tuners and all sorts. There was a theater here in town. You're walking past these places that existed not that long ago, and today there's nothing left. The only thing that exists is the archaeological remains below the ground. Coming here to visit for the first time, you're going to find a beautiful park, a reproduction of the original Independence Hall. You'll be able to visit the Star of the Republic Museum, which is a two-story indoor facility full of collections from the Republic period. And then you'll be able to visit Barrington Living History Farm, step back to the 1850s and experience what life was like on an early Texas cotton farm in Washington County. I think this park is a really good bookend for Texas history because it's where Texas history started with Independence Hall and the people declaring separation from Mexico. And then this being the home of the last president. I think it really shows a good time span. And then the museum talks about kind of that 10 year period in between. Barrington Living History Farm is 68 acres. It's meant to show you what would have been on a 1,100 acre farm in the 1850s. It's not just a historic site where you can go and tour a historic house. What we try to do there is recreate day-to-day -day life as best we can and really give people a glimpse into 19th century Texas. It's a really unique opportunity for visitors to come to a historic site to see and engage in a staff dressed in period clothing and carrying out uh, historic living history activities. I love teaching history to people and making it relevant, especially with kids. They'll smell the smoke, they'll hear the animals, they'll see a very different view shed than what we see at home. What we believe at Barrington Farm is that it's really important to continue to connect people back to their historic agricultural roots. So we try to recreate the agriculture of the crops like cotton and corn, uh, using varieties that, that look like and uh, feel like and even taste like the things that you would have seen in the time period. Uh, using methods that are uh, what would have been used at the time, so using oxen and, and turn plows to, to work the land. There's always something going on every weekend, from butchering programs in the wintertime to candle dipping programs, plowing programs in the spring, planting, harvesting. We really try to focus there on hands-on opportunities. We believe that if you can get your hands on it, you'll, you'll remember it far better than if we just told you about it. Sandwiched in between is the Star of the Republic Museum. That is a two-story traditional indoor museum and it focuses on the 10 years that Texas was an independent republic and it's perhaps one of the largest repositories for Texas-related artifacts, documents. It has a great research library. So there's a little bit of everything. What we like to encourage folks to do is to come in early, spend your time outside in the morning, and then when it gets hot, spend your afternoon in the, inside the AC in the museum. I started my career here at Washington on the Brazos as an interpreter at Barrington Farm. And when you introduce yourself and you say, hi, I'm, a, I'm an interpreter, people say, oh, well, what language do you interpret? And, and really, the, the, the answer is we, we interpret the language of the past. An interpreter um, is the bridge between the museum visitor or the living history visitor um, and the story that the site is, is sharing. I think sites like Washington on the Brazos, and in particular living history sites like Barrington Farm, they give a visitor an opportunity to step into the past in a way that you're really not going to get anywhere else. We get a lot of school kids, and the best compliment to us is that the children then bring their families and come back, and we really encourage that. Somewhere along the way, somebody sparked a fire in me to want to create a career out of this. Um, and we're hoping to find that next person to spark a little fire in them to where they'll be the next generation that carries the torch of history and historic preservation and, um, and, and living history.